Hi, I'm Diane Stewart-Jones. I'm one of Emmanuel Stewart's two sisters. Here in Detroit, we were deeply saddened to learn of Jose Suleiman's death. Today, we're gathered here to offer our sincerest condolences to both the Suleiman family and the WBC. Having recently experienced the loss of Emmanuel, the Stewart family is keenly aware of your loss and your pain. Now to the world, Don Jose was an icon, but equally important, you have lost a husband, a father, a son, a grandfather, uncle, and actually the president of the WBC. Don Jose Suleiman held a very special place in Emmanuel's heart. Emmanuel always told me, you know, that Don Jose Suleiman, that's my friend. That's my true friend, that's my real friend. In fact, I noticed something over the years. Without fail, whenever Jose Suleiman's name was mentioned, Emmanuel always smiled. And in fact, his eyes lit up. They had a twinkle in them. Well, you know, I determined that this Jose guy was a guy I wanted to meet. But sadly, that was not to be, because as you all know, we lost Emmanuel on October 25th, 2012. Now, I'd hoped to meet Jose at Emmanuel's memorial, but Jose was not able to attend. So although I never got to personally meet Jose Suleiman, I feel as though I know him. I feel as though I already met him. Every single person, old, young, black, white, Christian, Jew, Muslim, etc., everybody has had nothing but the warmest glowing reflections and memories of Don Jose Suleiman. Jose Suleiman and the WBC have had a long history with Detroit and with Emmanuel. And so I'm now going to step aside and let some of those that knew Don Jose Suleiman and members of our Emmanuel Stewart Foundation express their condolences from Detroit, Croc, the Stewart family, and the Emmanuel Stewart Foundation. Now first up, is someone who played a pivotal part in the history of the WBC. Hi, I'm Milton McCory. I'm Emmanuel Stewart's first WBC world champion, and I'm Detroit's first born world champion. And I'm the first WBC fighter to go 12 rounds when the rules were changed to 12 rounds. And my condolences goes out to the Suleiman family and the best to the WBC. Hello, I'm Eric Lindquist and I had the pleasure of serving as Emmanuel Stewart's personal attorney in his later years. Now I serve on the Emmanuel Stewart Foundation Board of Directors. I know that Emmanuel and Don Jose are sitting ringside in the heavens, looking down on young fighters like these as they develop and ply their trade in the amateur ranks at Kronk and strive to become World Boxing Council champions like Milton McCrory. On behalf of the Emmanuel Stewart Foundation, we express our condolences on the loss of Don Jose. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Stuart Kirschenbaum. I was the Boxing Commissioner in Michigan from 1981 to 1992. That coincided with the wonderful era of Emmanuel Stewart and Jose Suleiman. And it was at that time that I became friends with both of them over 30 some odd years ago. And there's a lot of sameness between Jose and Emmanuel who we lost our dear friend last year. That being loyalty, that being one and the same with the organizations they represented. Kronk was Emmanuel Stewart and Emmanuel Stewart was Kronk. Likewise, the WBC was Jose Suleiman and Jose Suleiman was the WBC. You cannot talk about the organizations without talking about Jose or talking about Emmanuel. Two great men, two wonderful men that I cherish their friendships, the trips around the world I had with Jose as a WBC official. I surely miss him. I feel heartsick I didn't get to say goodbye, but Jose, goodbye and peace on earth. Hi, I'm Frank Garza, a WBC referee from the state of Michigan. And it's an extreme honor to be here tonight as we pay a special tribute to Jose Suleiman, the late president of the WBC. You know, Jose will always be remembered in the sport of boxing 
as he was inducted in 2006 to the International Boxing Hall of Fame. And we'll always remember Jose Suleiman for all the safety measures that he implemented in the sport, such as reducing the championship rounds from 15 to 12, for implementing the thumbless gloves, for putting the fourth rope strand on the, on the ring, and for starting the weigh-in 24 hours before the fight. Michigan has many world champions from the WBC, such as Mary Jo Sanders, Pinklin Thomas, Roger Mayweather, Milt McCory, and two of the all-time greats, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Tommy Hearns. They were all very proud and are proud to wear the championship belt of the WBC. This sweater that I'm wearing tonight is very special. It belonged to my father who passed away over 25 years ago. And this is the first time that I have ever worn this sweater. And, and that's what the WBC means to me. Because not only did I lose, or we lost the president of the WBC, but I also lost a friend and I lost a mentor. And I lost someone that I was proud to call Papa whenever I saw him. That's what Don Jose was, that's what Don Jose is. I first met Jose in the early 90s, and he invited me to sit with him and talk about boxing. And, and we had a great conversation, and at the end he told me, Frank, I want to keep my eye on you. And he did. And a short time later, he invited me to attend the first World Congress for Boxing Officials held in the year 2000 in Las Vegas. And there, through the WBC, I learned so much about officiating. It was a great experience, and I thank Don Jose for giving me that opportunity. I also remember the letter that he wrote me, and Don, was always, Don Jose was always writing letters. And I remember the one letter that he wrote me after I refereed a bout that contained two of the most notorious boxers in the history of the sport. And he compliment, complimented me on the great job that I did. And the other letter that he wrote to me where he wrote, Frank, it's not that I want you to referee this fight, it's that I need you to referee this fight. That was the one thing about Don. As a leader, he had that personal feeling, that personal grip with you. And that's something that we're always gonna miss and that's something that, a reason why I always hold him in such high esteem. You know, Michigan has always been proud of our WBC champions and all the title fights that the WBC has brought to the city of Detroit and to the state. And we are proud of the statue of Joe Lewis that Jose and the WBC helped fund that stands in front of Cobo Arena. And the WBC and the Jose Suleiman will always be a part of the city of champions, the city of Detroit. So at this time, I'd like to call Diane and all our other guests up for a special toast that we're going to toast for Don Jose and we offer our condolences from, from our heart, and we love you, Don Jose. We love you. We want to toast the life and the legacy of a great icon and a great human being, Don Jose Suleiman.